Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Today, as you know, we've been uh, rebuilding that Chevy Equinox right here. And we'll show you guys how we're going to try to blend the paint and the clear coat for that spot that we'll be redoing. And funny thing about it, we're using spray paint from a can, you know, the cheap one. And regular clear coat. Stay with us to see if it's going to work out. Usually we use a good quality paint base coat but in this case it's a little and we want to see if the spray paint will work how it's going to look if it doesn't look good we'll redo it but want to do that and if it works so you know you can save yourself some money from buying expensive paint for small repair so what's important now guys okay we need to get a paper towel okay like that Okay guys, so we'll be blending the clear coat so we don't have to paint the whole side just for that. We put one tape here on the paper towel. Okay, we'll demonstrate on the other edge now. And by doing that with the paper towel now, we're not going to have a big edge because if you just put, uh, if you just put right here tape, you're going to have a huge edge that you need to sand later to be able to blend and sometimes uh, you can over sand those because they're too thick, so we'll just uh, leave it like that now. Okay right, guys, we put plastic, we covered everything now. We'll be ready to paint. Now we'll use some alcohol to clean the area, make sure that there is no grease from our fingers and stuff like that. Should wear gloves, painting gloves, but uh, always, always clean your area because if you have a little bit of grease or wax left somewhere, uh, the paint and clear coat will not stick to it. Oh, you guys saw this is the paint and uh, this is actually the same color coat, bright white for General Motors. Okay, right here. Duplicate General Motors color. So, the plan is now to blend the white up to here, start gradually blending it and over here. We are not going to go all the way because if the paint is a little bit different tint, you'll be able to see it. After that we'll clear coat it. You can use a spray can if you want, but it needs to be a 2K, it's called a 2K primer, okay? And this is, uh, this is the paint now. So let's go ahead and give it a try and see what, what happens. It might not work out, but who knows. So first coat needs to be really, really thin coat. Okay. And we have a little bit, a little bit of a paint actually stuck in the gun. Okay, we're going to let it dry now, and we'll do another coat in a little bit. Alright guys, we're ready for the second coat. Make sure you get your edges right. Okay, I need to wipe the nozzle once in a while because they'll start spitting stuff. Remember, that's, that's a spray paint can, so it's not as good as a gun, and you'll never be as good as a gun. Alright guys, this is four coats so far, uh, we're going to do a fifth one now. This should be the last one because it doesn't cover as easy as uh, base coat paint. Base coat you go two or three times, this one you have to go like five. Okay, and I go halfway and I clean the nozzle because otherwise you're going to get spray almost everywhere. Okay, and towards the end, you have to go from further away, kind of like to blend the paint.
Okay, I'm gonna blend it like that. Then a little bit here. Okay, and we will let it dry and we will be trying the clear coat now and see how it works out. Alright guys, this is the clear coat we're using by Finish One. Uh, they sell them in small quantities, but again you can do that with a spray spray can as well. We've done it and uh, the, the clear coat, the 2K clear coat in spray can is pretty good. Still not as good as a good clear coat like this one. This is the activator. So it goes 4 to 1, usually you mix them about 4 to 1. Okay, and you can use measuring cups of course, preferably. Okay, that's great. Mix it and we'll be ready to spray it. Okay right, guys, so we're using the gun now. Uh, pretty good one by Finish Wine. You can check the products that we use on our website, Mechanic Lifestyle, and we're gonna spray uh, one or two coats depending how it looks and uh, uh, you have to stay with us until the end we'll do something to make sure that it has the same texture as the original paint always use a face mask when you do that So this is the second coat, that should be enough in our case. Okay, a little bit left there. We're gonna let it dry and see what we need to do next. Okay guys, so uh, we are ready now. <laughs> Usually you have to wait about 24 to 48 hours before we can cover sand it. In our case we didn't even wait that much because it's so hot right now, it's over 100 degrees. So we're going to get 1200 sandpaper now and 2000 sandpaper because uh, you cannot see it so so good now but okay let me get a good angle you can see that there is a little bit of orange peel and you always have some okay and that's where okay that's where the clear coat uh, we are trying to blend okay so so far it looks great but we still need to sand it a little bit okay and we need to buff it stay with us to see what we're going to use so what we're doing now we're sanding okay uh, but make sure that you don't over sand that okay you need to go it's really hard to show you but uh, when we're done with it I'll show you what it needs to look like you need to go back and forth motions only okay guys so we're still sanding back and forth back and forth we need to cover the whole area and you need to be very careful with the edges because the edge is the first thing that you will go through the clear coat and you will over sand it Okay, so we'll go ahead, do the rest of it, and we will uh, dry it and go to 2000 and show you what it needs to look like. We need to send right here, we already did, okay, where we're blending the clear coat. Okay, you can see that's orange peel now, right here. So we need to send a little bit more here. You need to get rid of the orange peel. Okay, when it dries, I thought you'll be able to see it. I just need to get the light in the right angle so you can see it. But we'll still go with 2000 after that to buff the scratches out of the 1200 and we, it will be, uh, it will look better and it will be easier to buff as well. Okay guys, we're using 1200 now, sandpaper, and we're going to go, all, I mean 2000 sandpaper, sorry. And we're going to go over the whole spot that we went with 1200. So that 2000 will be the last step before we buff it. And you saw it, before we even mess with it, it looked really good, so you can leave it the way it is, but if you want it to be great, professional looking, you, ha you have to cover sand it to get that uh, orange peel out. 
and you can actually replicate the original orange peel of the paint because it will have some orange peel even original factory paint so depending on how much you send it you can send it to be like glass to have absolutely zero orange peel but we will leave a little bit because the original paint has some okay guys we are done now we need to dry the whole area okay dry everything and you need to make sure you don't have any water and we are going to buff it now okay when you dry it now it will look really really dull with absolutely no shine but that's fine okay we will give it shine in a little bit okay guys we are using 3m perfected series rubbing compound number one this is step number one always shake those good before you apply them and we are going to put a thin layer on it now Okay, so we're going to apply a thin layer on the on the area that we work. Usually you don't want to work more than that at a time with the rubbing compound because it will dry. Okay, maybe we'll do even half now because it's too hot and we don't want it to dry and we'll do the half in a little bit. We're using, okay, that part right here now. You can see this is by 3M for rubbing compound. We go at about 2,000 RPMs, 1,900, 2,000. Okay guys, so you can see it's pretty shiny now, right? It looks good, but we're not done yet. This is just the rubbing compound. You might have to do uh, two coats, depending uh, depending if it's uh, shiny or not. In our case, you can see it turned out pretty good. Now we're going to use a, a regular foam pad, okay? And machine polish compound, which is step two by the same series. And you can see you don't use much of those stuff. You can get small quantities if you need to. They sell them in small bottles. For something like that, you probably have for, not say a big world, but probably for more than a hundred fenders, maybe. Okay, so we'll put a thin layer and buff it again at about 2000 RPMs. Okay right, guys, so this is the finished result. Let, let us take it outside so you can see it in the shed and see what it looks like. So guys, we took it out. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing to the bumper to blend it. But I wanted to show you, you can see absolutely zero cover difference from what we can see now. You can see that's where we blended it. Okay, about right here and the clear coat is here. Okay, the paint is blended here, remember? Clear coat right here and you cannot even see there is no edge because when we wet sand it we made everything smooth so thank you guys for watching please subscribe and see you guys next time